Today, we will talk about how Kubernetes became a first-class citizen in Grafana Vela. To demonstrate the integration of Vela with Kubernetes, we have deployed a demo application formed by multiple services and pods. In this demo application, we have a load generator pod that sends HTTP requests to a front-end, which forwards them to a backend. And this backend communicates via gRPC with multiple worker pods. This demo application is already deployed in Kubernetes. We have this front end, this load generator, which is a simple pod, the front end, the back end, and the worker. We will deploy the configuration as a config map. So on one side, we have configured the routing just to provide some heuristic information and grouping of the routes. And then we will tell Bela, for example, we only want to select this or to instrument this pod. We have this discovery section in which we say, okay, in the demo namespace, we only want to instrument the services that belong to a deployment name matching the front-end string. Apart of that, we will need to do some extra configuration to let Vela get information or inspect information about Kubernetes. So on one side, we have deployed this service account and this cluster role that allows Vela to list and watch for replica sets and pods. And then we bind this cluster role to this Vela service account. Then we can deploy Vela as a diamond set. So uh, for that, we need to specify that or the service account that we use to deploy the diamond set is this uh, Vela service account that has been bind to this cluster role. It's also important to let Vela to access the host pit as it is deployed as a daemon set, it is able to access to every process deployed on that daemon set. The configuration file with the discovery configuration is mounted as a volume, and then we specify that this configuration can be accessed there. We need also to enable the key metadata, and here we provide the, uh, the Grafana Open telemetry exporter information. This is the endpoint and the headers with the authentication, which have been deployed as a secret. So let's deploy Vela. We see that the Vela pod is running. We can see that, for example, in the logs of Vela, Vela found a process in front end. It is the only process it is instrumenting because we say that we only wanted to instrument any process belonging to the to the front end uh, pod. So Vela uh, should be already sending information. If we go to Grafana. Uh, you can, we will be able to see these uh, traces here. The, uh, we only see the front end traces. You can also see how this service is visible in the, for example, in the application observability plugin. If we go to the service map, we can see this front end demo service. So uh, we, we were able to configure Vela to select only a subset of the running services. So let's try to remove this restriction and instrument all the processes in the demo namespace. We only have the, the services uh, for this demo application, the front end, the back end, the load generator, and the workers. So let's redeploy Vela. So if now we get the logs of Vela, of the new Vela instance, 
you can see that now Vela has found many other processes in the in the logs. Uh, a process named frontend, another back name backend, another name uh, worker, and another name load gen for the load generator. Uh, we we were able to do a, a broad in, uh, instrumentation, instrument more services, but even uh, uh, restricted only to this demo name space. Now, if we go to the service map, after a while, we shall see that this map has been updated. Okay, so now we are able to see all the services there, the load generator, the front end that calls to the back end and calls to the worker. So if we click on any of the services, we can go to the service overview. So when we go to the service overview, not all the data will be there. It will take a few minutes, one, two minutes to populate also the, the metrics. But in the meanwhile, this information is populated. We can go to the traces section and see how the traces have been captured. If we click on any of the traces, you will see not only the single spans for this front or, or for this, uh, in that case, backend application, but all the distributed traces for all the different processes. And after some minutes, we see that the uh, over, uh, overview of, of the services is populated with metrics, like the duration, the errors, and rate of, of the different requests. So the, the demo introduces some, some errors on purpose just to demonstrate this work. You can see the dependencies downstream and upstream. So you see that this backend service sends data to the worker and gets uh, requests from the front end. You can see the operations and the duration. Thank you for your attention. Feel free to visit the Grafana Vela documentation site for more information about how to make Vela to work with Kubernetes and other topics.